What are the best du'as that I can make during the tawaf? Now whilst performing the tawaf, there are actually no specific du'as to make. In fact, what is recommended is that a person engages themselves in as much du'a as possible. Personal du'as from the Quran, from the Sunnah, your own du'as, your own requests to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also a person should busy themselves with adhkar. What is mentioned from the Sunnah, the standard adhkar of tasbihat, of saying alhamdulillah, of showing your shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of doing takbirat and the different other wordings that you have longer, shorter, etc. So one should busy themselves doing this because this is a very personal moment between yourself and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is however one specified dua which is at a specific point and what is that? That is between the last corner which is the Yemeni corner and the black stone where we are advised and recommended to make the dua which is seen as one of the most comprehensive duas in the entire Quran. Rabbana atina fid dunya our Lord grant us goodness and success in this life and grant us goodness and success in the next life and protect us and save us from the punishment of the fire. This is the only dua, it's recommended, it's not a must, so if you don't, then again, your tawaf will not be nullified, it won't be deficient in any way. So during the tawaf, one should make as much dua and as much dhikr and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as possible, and that is what to keep in mind in terms of duas and supplications during the tawaf. Follow us and subscribe now on all things Hajj and Umrah.